In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Brothers, sisters, and friends, today I want to discuss the Higgs boson. What is the Higgs boson and does it have any theological implications? We've been seeing currently on the internet the internet warriors, the atheists saying, look, we don't need God as an explanation anymore. God doesn't exist because we now have the God particle, the Higgs boson. But there's a huge problem here. If we really understand the science, we really understand what is going on here, we will see what is the fuss about. The Higgs boson doesn't affirm or deny the existence of God. It's irrelevant to the discussion. So on Twitter, on Facebook, on social media, on YouTube, on the forums, all these atheists clutching at intellectual straws, well, that's what it is. They're just clutching at intellectual straws. So, what is the Higgs boson? Well, take this as the early universe. And please note, the early universe. Because this doesn't explain or discuss why the universe was once in a state of non-existence, then it came into existence. Because we know the universe began. If it began, then it was once nothing, then it became something. It doesn't discuss any of that. All it discusses is the early universe. So just assume this is the early universe. And within the early universe, you have particles, okay? And these particles have no mass, zero mass. And they're traveling at the speed of light. All of a sudden, the Higgs field is switched on. So just assume this is the Higgs field, okay? So now the Higgs field is switched on. So what does the Higgs field do? Well, the Higgs field is essentially responsible for dragging these particles down, essentially giving them mass. But there is an exception, which we call the photon. The photon still has no mass and travels at the speed of light. It has no mass and travels at the speed of light. So say these are some of the exceptions which we now call photons, okay? Now, where does the Higgs boson come into play? Well, the Higgs boson is the particle that makes up the Higgs field. So here it is. It's like the building blocks of the Higgs field. And recently, the claim is that they have empirically justified the Higgs boson, which is the particle that makes up the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving particles mass. That's it, folks. That's the fuss. That's what all the atheists are talking about. It doesn't deny God and doesn't affirm God. It doesn't explain the beginning of the universe. It doesn't explain how the universe came into existence. All it does is explain how particles have mass. So why are they calling this the God particle? It's a joke. It's again popular science or the secularists or the atheists trying to cut intellectual straws to try and create a social construct, a social environment to say, look, science explains everything. So there you go. It has no theological implications in any shape or form. For it to have, or for something to have a theological explanation or to have a theological implication, then it would have to tell us how the universe began. And we know that the best explanation is that an all-powerful, all-knowing, uncreated, eternal being brought the universe into existence. But that's another video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.